Hi my friends. Okay, so let's do this again about Jesus, the religions, and yeah, just move a little bit more into this. So I can see from your comments that <clears throat> some of you get very angry or upset about what I say, and that's okay. So it's good that uh, things are happening. And to you who maybe has left the channel, who might, might not see this, just to clarify this, <clears throat> people who have written to promote their own religion have left their comments about people who have been Christian, people who have been Muslim, I think that's the only two. I have left their comments there often, but sometimes and, and especially now, I, I, I think it's a good idea to, to start taking them away. So there are people who have promoted Christianity and the path of Jesus, and the comments are still there. So, <clears throat> uh, I, I want to share a little thing with you <clears throat> that I just, I just got a minute ago. So imagine that you are out in space and you have a little child with you, a child of maybe three or four that can understand a whole lot of things. And you're flying in whatever you like, an aeroplane, <coughs> a rocket, and you're moving towards Earth and you're, you want to explain to this child how what this earth is all about and how to live well on this earth. And can you imagine saying to that child, now here you are, here is planet earth and we're going to land on planet earth soon and there are all these different people living on, on this planet and there are all different colors, people who wear different clothes, he, people who speak uh, different languages, who eat different food and many of them believe that there's a God and they call God different names and imagine saying to that child there's only one group of those people who is right all the rest are wrong so I want you to go to earth and to go and be a part of the ones who are right and they are the ones who believe in Jesus and the blood of Jesus or whatever you want to say, call it. I want you to be a part of those right ones because then you'll be a right person and all the rest and understand and live your life uh, understanding that all the other people who have different ways of living and understanding God to uh, to live a life where you actually see them as wrong and inferior to you because you're right. Can you imagine preparing a child for living on earth that way? And when I see the anger that comes out in these comments and the hostility towards people who are different to you, I can understand why the world went so wrong? Why Why do we have all this war? Why do we have all this poverty? Why is this all this going on on earth? Because we don't live in peace. We don't see our brother, look our brother into the eye and love him as Jesus actually said, love your brother as yourself. We don't do that. Well, many don't. Luckily, or <coughs> this is the plan of Earth, is that we will all get to love each other, uh, no matter what. So that is what I'm really sharing on this, on these two channels, and that's what I believe. And you might not believe it, and it's okay. But this is what I want. I want to share with you that the world might be in a very bad state, and there might be a lot of hatred and war and people who look down on others but it's all going 
it, it's all it's all disappearing because we are moving into a, a time of love and peace and as uh, Katrin from from Sweden uh, wrote you wrote in your comment love is the way and this is so true this this is <laughs> this is the truth love is the way and uh, I love you all no matter what you do whether you leave the channel or don't leave the channel you're still my sister and my brother that's how I feel and I send you only love but going back to the the story of the little child who is coming to the earth for the first time if I was the pe if I was the person uh, preparing the child for for its life on earth I would put it this way we're going to a planet and it's called planet earth it's called Gaia and it's been there for millions of years and there's all this life on it there's actually not only humans but there are animals there are trees there's the air there's the water there's the soil there's all this life on this planet and some animals are black and some are white and some are black and white and some trees are very tall some are very low and with the humans they're all very different and they're all part of God's creation I believe there's a God and I wouldn't say to the to the child you have to believe that there's a God maybe that's not appropriate for that child but all this all this life on earth is one big family and not one insect or one human or one religion or one tree one animal is more right than another every one of them is part of this family and I want you to go and live and love your life enjoy your life and live your life as you wish to live wear the clothes you wish to wear believe in what you want to believe in what you feel is true for you and to to love to express yourself in your own natural way and I wish for you that you see everything around you every human every animal all of nature <coughs> I wish you see it as a part of your family because you as we come to earth you are becoming a part of this big family where we are all one and the more that you you love the you um, you share your love with the humans with the animals with all the life forms the more joyful you will be and the more joy you will spread into this world so have a wonderful time on earth my dear and uh, it's going to be good that's what I would say so uh, yeah it's uh, all is well there's nothing to fear and uh, I can just I can just mention here <clears throat> which some people might become insulted by but uh, humans when we lived thousands thousands hundreds of thousands maybe millions of years ago we would fear the strangers in some periods not not always because when uh, these very primitive people met each other sometimes they would uh, they would marry within they would they would uh, share their genetic uh, materials so they were actually friendly towards each other but for a long period through our history we would fear the strangers because they were different and so we would do everything we could to keep the strangers away so the children were taught that anything that's different is uh, you must fear and you must um, push away but where we're going now we're learning that do not fear anything that's different because because you are you you're living your life your way there's no threat in that so love the way that you live and do not fear anything that's different 
because uh, there's room for all of us. So lastly, I just want to mention, I, I might have mentioned it before a long time ago, but there's an organization called URI, United Religion, Religions Initiative, URI. And <clears throat> I think it was a bishop in California who was asked in 1993 to, 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 to get all the religions of the earth together in a, in a conference or a, a, a celebration of each religion and a celebration of accepting each other. And since then, he's been, uh, or it has become uh, an organization. And whenever it's possible, I think every year, people from all religions and also atheists who don't believe there's a God, they all get together and they celebrate life. They celebrate each other. And it's just really, really wonderful. So you can go onto the internet and see about Yuri. And uh, there's a little story there about in Uganda, for instance, where there is a Catholic uh, priest and a Muslim uh, imam who are who are walking down the streets and they're, uh, they're telling the story of how they're working together um, because the children there are very, uh, yeah, it's very dangerous. It has been very dangerous in Uganda and this is just one story and Yuri is, is um, uh, encouraging all these good things happening around the world where different religions uh, accept each other and work together. So this was a, another little thing on this very hot topic and I send you all my love and have a beautiful day. See you.